All right, today we're presented with this uh, five-year-old male chameleon who's having a hard time seeing past his wart. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of painful. It is probably a sub Q abscess sprouting from a sinus. And this one here on uh, his right side has actually been there for a long time and it's quite hard. So I'm going to run to the back. We're going to clip in, well, clip this up. We're going to clean it up. And I'm going to put a local block in there, Mom. I'll try my best to, to uh, decrease some of this pain. And then we're going to uh, lance those and see if we get some out. While we're lancing, I'm going to get a sample for a culture and sensitivity. And then in the meantime, we'll start him on some antibiotics, depending on what we find on our cytology. And we will uh, hopefully get this guy seen again. And that's got to be painful. That hurts me to look at it. Yo, dude. I can't see my crickets. Help me, doctor. Help me. School. All right, I'm gonna turn this camera off for just a second, but I just wanted to make sure we saw this. I'm gonna put this under cytology. No, God. Ooh, yuck. Just a nail trim. All right, there's one semi lance. We'll flush it in a second. Okay, we finished with my cytologies. Got a sample for culture. As you can tell, this guy's not spoiled. Um, <laughs> I try to keep clients out of these things, so that way if you guys are wanted somewhere, nobody will know, and we just have the patients to look at them as far as the, the, the YouTube channel goes. So I'm just leaning her head back. Um, she's quiet now, just in case the FBI has voice recognition technology. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're handling that very well, by the way. <laughs> anyway, um, this is what it looks like after we've lanced it. It is smaller, but you can actually see it swelling. Mom, what I'd like you to do is get some cotton swabs and clean that area about once or twice a day. Um, seeing as how we have both bacteria and fungi out of that area, we're going to send you home with the antifungal and antibiotic in the same mixture because I like you. It's a once a day thing. Um, just know that I could have mixed up one of those, you know, five or six a day medication things. Yeah, yeah. No, I try to be a nice guy. Just don't let it get around. Um, and we're going to wait and see what the culture tells us. Uh, if I'm to do some predicting as far as how this case is going to turn out, I think we can make this part here look really, really well and actually get him seeing well. But because we're looking at microophthalmia on the other side and the eye is actually much smaller, I don't know how much vision I can get there. But this guy's been dealing with this chronically for a while. We may end up, depending on what this shows, having to go in, remove the skin off that area, grind down that bone, okay, where our buddy can see and get past it. While I'm in there, I can curate out that whatever infection is inside there, and then suture that up, and hopefully it'll get healed fine. We just have to know what organisms are in there first, okay, and then know that when we do this, um, we had the right medications on board the first time, okay? Any questions? No? All right. We have a plan. That's it for now. Oh, spoiled lizard. Got him a new cage. Yay! All right, here's our uh, veiled chameleon with the lumpy head and for a recheck. And it looks like everything's a bit smaller. I'm told everybody here can actually eat now. Or see what he's eating anyway. 
that one that you're seeing there in your screen left is still mostly bone, so that's going to take a while for that to heal. I guess the mission would be in the long run, would be to, uh, no, you can't have the foam. It would be to go ahead and cut that open right there, and then scrape out the bone and switch the skin back over it. But this one over, where is my stick? There is my stick. The skin over that one right there is actually getting smaller, and we just finished cleaning it up. Is there a piece right there? Still. Okay, getting it. All right. <laughs> um, our culture has come back saying it's Pseudomonas. That is one of those troublesome organisms in all of veterinary medicine and human medicine, meaning that it's usually highly, highly resistant to a lot of antibiotics or has the capability of being resistant to a lot of antibiotics. The good news is our choice so far to date has been one that is... Uh, um, that usually works, so we're just going to have to wait and see how well it works. Um, but anyway, so far so good. He is eating, and then I, look at the detail. That's cool. You're, you're feeling much better. I can tell just by your colors. Yay! I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough torture.